Good morning, I am Brian with TransWest Truck Trailer RV out of Frederick, Colorado. Today I'm going to be walking you in and around a 2021 Newmar Baystar 3014. So brand new, uh, 2021, that gives you the 22,000 pound Ford F53 chassis with the all new Ford 7.3 liter V8. Uh, so all new motor this year. Give you a little bit better gas mileage, hopefully quiet it down just a little bit in the cab for you. So, things just to notice really quick while we're looking at the outside of this Newmar Base Star. Full body paint, no graphics, no decals. Um, and then <laughs> this big 16 foot Colorado Carefree awning. So, and there is a nice LED light strip in there as well. And there is also a wind sensor. So, one other handy little thing they gave you this year is a little key fob remote so you can put that awning in and out from the exterior of the coach so you're sitting by the campfire sun's starting to go down you can retract that awning so coming up just in the front of this motorhome we'll go around the outside first look at the storage the underneath side of the motorhome and then we'll go inside in this first compartment not a lot to see here you have a Xantrax 1200 watt inverter And then in that bay behind that, that's just a water tank. That's your fresh water tank. Give you 75 gallons of fresh water. Back one more. This is good storage here. And up above, you do have a little bit longer storage. And then back one more. Something kind of cool they did here. They gave you the uh, two GFCI outlets. One is just a free and open. This one back here is for your tank pad heaters. And then this is also where if that campground you're staying in has satellite available, you'd plug in your satellite. Back behind that, this is the cover for your hot water heater. So six gallon gas and electric hot water heater. That is the standard on the 2021 Baystar. And then back behind that, the Onan Quiet Gas 5500 generator. So that's more than enough power to run both your air conditionings, both your heat pumps, uh, your microwave, everything all at the same time, you'll be just fine. And then in the back, they do actually give you a bit of pass-through storage, which is something that's fairly uncommon on a gas class A. Coming to the back, you got the fiberglass rear cap. Nice window in the bedroom, we'll show that when we get inside. Down below, two inch receiver with a 5,000 pound towing capacity, as well as a seven way connector for trailer lights, trailer brakes, tow vehicle lights, tow vehicle brakes, all of it right there. It's already prepped for you, you don't have to add anything to it. Coming around on the passenger side, this very rear compartment is gonna be an electrical compartment. So 50 amp power cord, with the automatic transfer switch. Shut that one. Coming forward, we actually do have some storage on the passenger or the driver's side as well, the off door side. Down in here, we do have a little compartment. It's hard to see with the full body paint, but you do have a little storage for hoses as well for that sewer hose. Next bay is going to be your wet bay. So a couple things here. You have one of your holding tanks. You see these little pads here. These are your tank heaters. So that's what keeps you from freezing up if you are in that below 32 degree temperatures. Fresh water connection, black tank flush, fresh water uh, valve. So that's gonna be either tank fill or city water connection. Outside shower with hot water and then a remote switch for your water pump as well. Very nice and clean fresh water bay, or water bay. Forward to that one. Uh, so in this side, you're gonna have your dump for your black and gray tank, so it's kinda hidden up in there, but there's just a hole here. Unscrew the cap, run your th hose through it, and uh, do your dump. Cool thing about that is it does give your waste and water, a little bit more momentum uh, to get out of that hose. 
And in front of that is gonna be your winterization valve. So when you, it's time to winterize, you just take that pink hose there, put it in a bucket of antifreeze, and it'll suck antifreeze through the water system versus you having to go and add it manually. We did add to this coach the option for two, uh, a residential refrigerator, which gives you two more batteries. That gives you 240 amp hours of battery total. So four batteries total on a tray. So if you need to change them out, that tray does just slide out and bring all those batteries to you. And then last bay underneath, you have a 25 gallon propane tank used to fire your water heater, your stove, as well as your, um, just your standard furnace. Pretty cool on the outside of the base star, they do give you the side view cameras. So when you turn on your blinker, that camera will illuminate and show you the left side of the coach, helping to eliminate blind spots. While we're standing right here, the stock number for this unit is 5N201271. Again, this is a 2021 Newmar Base Star 3014. So now that we've walked around most of the outside of it, let's go ahead and head inside. Oh, just for reference, this is the urban exterior graphics. So that's going to give you the red, the black, the silver, the gray. Um, really just a nice paint job to it. And then coming in, this motorhome also is equipped with the urban interior decor. So what that gives you is this style of throw pillow, the valances, and then the gray uh, leather on your sofa, your dinette, your driver's chairs. So just kind of look around this 3014 for just a second and we'll kind of go over the cab area. So uh, on the new Ford F53 chassis, you're gonna see a couple new things. One, it looks just a lot nicer than it used to. So you have more of an LED dash, LED backlit dash. And then over here, all your headlight controls, you do have automatic headlights, generator start, battery boost, overhead fans, and then dome lights. And then on the left side, you have your auto leveling system. Just a lot cleaner, more condensed than it used to be. Other thing they did is they did give you steering wheel controls for your dash as well as your cruise control. Something you used to see in diesel or you do see in diesels. Well, now they've incorporated it on the gas chassis as well. Two different controls here. So that top screen is just a dedicated camera screen. So right now we're looking at a rear view camera. Do take notice that it is a color camera. And then down below that is your Sony headset. Um, that's gonna be Bluetooth, FM radio, XM radio. It's all in there. Up above the cab here, we do have some storage, as well as a small Samsung HD TV. And that TV is more so used if you're sitting at the dinette. We'll kind of go over that here in just a few. And then one other thing, one of my favorite features of Base Stars. This is an option, so they won't all have it, but this folding cockpit table for you know cocktail hour. Uh, these seats swivel around, so they become part of the living area. If you needed to feed a couple more people than you were used to, you do have extra space to put their food on a table. And then it just folds away just as easy as it comes up. Right back behind the passenger seat here is gonna be all of your controls. So this is right above the door. So right here we have a digi level. So that's gonna give you your fresh water, propane, gray tank, black tank, uh, all the levels of that, as well as your battery levels if you click the select button again. The controls for your Dometic hot water heater, again, that's a six gallon gas and electric. So you have a switch for gas and a switch for electric. If it's really cold, you can run them both as long as you're plugged into shore power or running a generator. Master battery disconnect, the step on and off, your slide out, this is just gonna be for your front slide out. Awning lights, that LED light strip we showed you in the awning. Awning extender attract, again, we do have the remote for that. And then a Zan the control panel for your Xantrex 1200 watt inverter. Up top, tank heat pads. Those are gonna be those 12 volt heat pads that you saw on the holding tanks. 
and then just the power control system so you know what you're running off of. If it's a 50 amp, it'll say 50 amp. Um, if it's generator, it'll just say gen. So coming back into the dining area. Um, so nice little booth dinette right here is where you'd be sitting to watch that overhead TV. Obviously we have another one right behind me, another Samsung HD TV. So this TV also has the Bose soundbar down below. Um, give you a little bit better sound quality than what Samsung does. This will also drop down and make a bed. I'll show you where the filler cushion for that is. And then right above the TV, AV compartment contains your DVD player. If you had a satellite, you'd also put your satellite receiver up there, um, but you can control all of your outputs right there. So down below that TV, this is gonna be part of your kitchen storage, but huge drawers. You can put a lot of stuff in that. Same thing on the bottom one, a little bit less, or a little bit more shallow, but still long. And then down below is just a cabinet. Now, one thing you'll always fight in a motorhome is pots and pan storage, and that's a huge compartment where you can put them. So, coming over to the driver's side, you do have a nice couch here uh, that will also make into a bed. Up above that, three cabinets. For more storage for the living room, kitchen area, over here, this can be removed by the owner, but it is all of your manuals, all of the manuals for this motorhome. And then it'll have everything from your hot water heater down to your electrical system. And then coming back into the kitchen area, nice solid surface countertop. You have dual bowl stainless steel sink. lots of storage underneath that and then more drawers to the left of those storage so you have a bank of four drawers pretty much just like this the one thing you should notice is this is all quiet closed drawers soft closed drawers so you can't slam them and then more storage up above that countertop as well over here you do have a whirlpool microwave so that is going to be just a standard microwave, no convection oven. The Baystar did bring back the oven. So the new Suburban three burner cooktop with an oven, really just a much nicer looking setup than what the old standard was. So three burners with the oven, and then you also have the cooktop cover here that just folds down like that, gives you more counter space. So coming back, like I said earlier, we did option this motorhome with the Whirlpool residential refrigerator with the ice maker in it as well. So with that option, you did get the two extra house batteries just to keep you running longer when you're uh, not plugged in. The other option this motorhome does have is it is solar prepped. It does not have solar on top of it, but we can put it on there if you need it. So uh, lots of power to run that residential refrigerator. Coming back into the bathroom for a 30 foot motorhome, this is a ginormous bathroom. It's a nice big residential style shower there. Uh, medicine cabinet back in here, I'm gonna squeeze by. So nice big medicine cabinet. Beautiful vanity lights. You also have just standard ceiling lights, but your vanity lights do make it appear a little nicer. More storage. And then your circuit breakers and fuses for your whole house, your whole motorhome right there. And then down below the countertop, you do have two more drawers, more storage. Again, soft close. So you're not gonna slam them. 110 GFCI outlet, hair dryers, curling irons, uh, electric shavers, whatever you need right there. You do have power for it. Single undermount sink on that under that solid surface countertop. And then more storage down below the sink. Look at that, they even put a toilet paper holder on there for you. Which brings us back 
into the bedroom. I didn't miss this, but uh, nice little pantry here for extra food storage. Uh, you could even put some linens in there if you needed to. It's a nice big area. Okay, into the bedroom. So first thing you see when you walk into this bedroom is going to be a Samsung 32 inch HD TV. And down below that, another AV compartment with the uh, DVD player. There, or you would also put your satellite receiver in there if you wanted to have a separate satellite receiver for the bedroom. Left of the TV, big hanging storage. Plenty of uh, height to hang shirts, longer dresses. And then down below, five drawers as a dresser. And quiet clothes. So, just to keep going on the storage train, underneath the bed is going to be more storage. This is that, com or that cushion. If you're gonna turn that dinette into a bed, here's the cushion for that. Uh, if you don't need that bed, then you can pull that cushion out and you have just a huge storage right there. And then up above the bed, you do have storage as well. Two cabinets. Back in the back there, you do have two 110 outlets. So if you're a CPAP user, you can literally plug it in right there, run your hose through this little hole. They did put a little hole there. Um, and use your CPAP while you sleep. And then underneath, you do have two reading lights as well with the switches right above the bed. So one thing I do like about the 3014 is this rear window gives you a lot of nice natural light, lets you see what's going on outside of your coach. Um, there is both a nightshade as well as a day shade on that. So plenty of privacy, um, but it does give you the nice option to be able to see outside, get some natural light in your bedroom. So, uh, this motorhome does have two air conditionings, two, two 15,000 BTU air conditionings. So both those can be run off the generator. They both also have heat strips installed in them. So they do act as heaters as well. Um, you got 75 gallons of fresh water, 60 gallons of gray water, and 40 gallons of black water. So lots of water. Uh, 25 gallons of propane keeps you off the grid just a little bit longer. Uh, and that pretty much wraps up this 2021 Newmar Bay Star 3014. So if you have any questions about this unit, feel free to give me a call at 303-684-3433 or brian.moritz at transwest.com. Again, I'm Brian, Transwest of Frederick, Colorado. Thank you so much for tuning in.